William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said 100,000 people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the Channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. All right, we're in mission three of our Norman campaign. Let us deploy the palings yet again and move King Henry forward. He can take the brunt of everything because he can regenerate. We have been following William the Conqueror, or at least his lineage. We played as William, conquering England and then putting down revolt. And now we follow his sons in their struggle for power. Let's see, what do I want Henry to be? Be three. Destroy Bayou. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayou, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Go. So many scouts. What am I going to do with all these scouts? Okay, a lot of cavalry here. I'm going to try and lure them in with the archers. Catch them on the edge of their patrol. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, please get the ones that are fighting the archers first. Oh, there's even more cavalry patrols out there. Okay, but this is a huge body of archers. I have 70 archers under my command. The English longbowmen, pride of the army. Okay, 
I see more high ground up here. Ooh, more cap. Okay. Pull back archers. There we are. Get in there. Boost the armor of these spearmen. Try and keep them around as long as we can. Uh, yeah, I don't... Archers, please, don't don't waste your arrows against the houses. We, uh... We have enemy cavalry attacking us. So much enemy. There's an even... There's another patrol out there. Hopefully we don't have to aggro that one immediately. The Looks like they're staying far enough away. And saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment. Yeah. Siege equipment is king here. Oh my gosh. How do they have even more cav? And we aggroed both of them together. Brilliant. Oh good. Those guys are pulling back. Yeah. So I think that little cutscene triggered when we gained sightline of the walls. Right now our goal is to capture the forest village. Be able to set up our little base. Home base. 70 archers, while formidable, is actually not going to be able to breach these walls. Alright, fall back, guys. Come on. Up against the tower. You just leave those cavalry alone. There we go. Tower's down. Push on to the village. I don't know if I want to attack these villagers or not. Like, are they actually providing resources to the enemy? Uh, they're trying to run away. Sometimes when you march in, they just convert to your side when you capture the village, so... I don't want to wantonly destroy what might one day be mine. Hmm, they have a bridge patrol. Let's see if we can sack the tower while the patrol is on the far side of the bridge. And then when they come across, we'll fight them. Okay, here they come. Charging. Alright, get on them. Armor buff. Let's cut through these calves. Good thing they gave us at least a few spearmen. We still have... Meh. We had 20. Losing losing numbers fast, even though they have the advantage against the calf. They're not going to be able to survive very long. This is a lot. And they have both horsemen and knights here. These guys aren't even up... Well, they're hardened spearmen. But they're not veteran. I believe hardened spearmen is the... Uh, I guess it could be an H3. Come on, guys. We're going to chase them. Ooh, they got archers on the walls. I don't like this. Uh, yeah. Let's destroy this. <laughs> we'll bring it down with the sheer weight of our arrows. That's hilarious. Each archer has, like, a, a minuscule siege attack. There we go, let it on fire, and it's down. No fall back. I'm going, guys. We'll thin their, we'll thin the ranks on the walls here with the long bowmen. Doing pretty well, though they do get a bonus for being up on the walls. They they hit harder and they take less damage. All right, let's not waste too much time here. Push on to the forest village. We want to be able to capture that. Set up our base. Begin the mission for real. See if we can. I believe this is mission is taking revenge on our brother for attacking us after we usurped his throne. So, family squabbles of the Middle Ages, very high stakes. So many people died for family squabbles. All right, one more. Oh, two. Here we go. Pick up the archers. Here we go. We have the forest village. Time to set up home base. There's all the villagers. Beautiful. Okay. Start working the wood line. Make sure that we have enough wood income. We need enough wood income to be able to support constructing farms. Get some farms up. So we're fully working this mill. Bring in some more villagers. You guys will be my workers. We need a blacksmith, they have said. Blacksmith is coming in. It's interesting, in the campaign you have blacksmith and then you also have arsenal. 
and they split out the um, research uh, research buildings for melee infantry and ranged infantry. Not usually the case. We have any access to gold? Oh, we do. Okay, should start working gold. Gold is required for all of these armor upgrades out of the blacksmith, so we want to be make sure that we're on top of that. Blacksmith on hand. Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. I think we'll also want to get an outpost out here. We're likely going to need to defend this little place. Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayer would not go unanswered. And now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Ah, there's a here comes the attack. Okay. Brace yourselves. We can take the high ground. Give our archers a little bit of an advantage. And better sight lines. Okay, here we go. Failings out. Get King Henry in there. Armor up. Yes, run. Run. Oh, you cannot outrun my arrows. Henry repelled the attack. But he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. What do we have otherwise here? We have just a stable. It's not a lot. Okay, so we need to be able to get siege engineering to get rams. Be able to punch through. I would also like to get a barracks out here. Supplement our archers with some uh, other unit types. Maybe scout out a little bit here. Some enemy villagers here working their wood line. We'll thin those down. We don't want to push out too far away from the base, though. In case we do get hit. Uh, it snuck up on me, no. Got into the archer's palings. Palings, but it's too late. Yeah, we definitely need some of these spearmen. Be able to supplement our numbers. We'll get a few of these guys out. Could now construct battering rams. Ah, there we go, that's our upgrade. Designed to break open fortress walls. All right, be able to construct rams. To be able to construct those rams, we will need uh, lots of wood. So much wood, okay. Let's get the wood upgrade and put a few more villagers on the wood line. Get those coming in. <laughs> All these have nice little backyards that we're just gonna turn into more houses. Very cute, but we need the space. We need the pop. Be able to build a huge army here. Time to start work on some of these rams. We can get two here. Uh, they want us to be able to build three. We might go even over that and get four. We've got pretty powerful economy building here behind our forces. Be able to even out some of these farms and then we should be all in on wood for the final push for the rams. Come on guys, work on the rams, set them up. <laughs> We're warriors, not builders. It'll take a while. We should also make this uh, wood line a little more efficient by pushing a lumber camp farther in. Keep those travel times down for the villagers. All right, two rams up. Swing those out of the way. And let's get that third. Yeah, we might push in with just three. I mean, rams hit really hard. Okay, after this raid, we're gonna push in for the counterattack. We are prepared, our rams are ready. Time to take the enemies to Ram Ranch. Need to uh, breach the enemy walls. We're gonna go directly for the walls containing their towers. Make sure that they don't have anybody out here that's going to try and burn my rams. Looks like they don't. The rams basically impervious to these enemy archer fire. Easy matter to be able to bring them down. And with the rams cover, we can actually begin to bring these guys up. We'll just start taking out these archers. Uh, looks like they've changed focus. All right, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, breaking the tower doesn't break the wall. No. No. 
Oh, I remember now is that if you destroy the wall next to a tower, it will also bring the tower down. Ah, uh, silly mistakes. Silly mistakes. We have a few reinforcements who are training here. We're still working on being able to get a, uh, there we go. Set this up, give them also command numbers, start training more longbowmen. We're gonna definitely be losing archers here. All right, they're coming out. The sortie is here, trying to destroy my rams. Then out the defenders, we've breached the walls. Here we go, now we're in. Let's start knocking down everything inside. But Henry would show no mercy in cutting mm, Do we want to put in a larger city. breach? Maybe we do. Larger breach in the walls. Alright, keep the rams safe. It is a top priority. They were very expensive. I don't want to have to rebuild any. Here we go. Let's get these guys out here. Add these guys to the archers' ranks. The archers are just in a basically unstoppable mass right now. Uh, where's Henry then? Henry? King? My lord? Oh, you're injured. Oh, you died right here in front of the walls. Okay. We'll... We'll come get you eventually. Oh, so many archers. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually fall back. I don't want to just get peppered by them when they're up on the walls there. But I'll fight them on even footing out here in the field, that is for sure. Okay, guys. Bring them down. We're starting to get our early minute arms out. The, uh, the problem with using these early minute arms is that we only have another 2,000 gold. So, by the time they, uh, exhaust our gold resources, we really are out. The raid of Bayou continues. Uh, bring in the Rams as well. We're going to eventually try and get in and save our leader. His bonus of having the armor upgrade, or improved armor for our, our warriors is going to be very useful. Let the Rams just knock the, knock the buildings over while the rest of the units do battle here. Do we want to push the rams all the way up? Maybe we do. We'll go into the wall here. Pretty confident about being able to take out these defenders. If we destroy these walls, we'll be able to bring the gatehouse down and be able to destroy the tower as well. Now we'll open up the space to be able to rescue the leader. Save King Henry from where he has fallen. At the foot of the enemy walls. Ooh, here come even more. All right, do we have reinforcements ready? We kind of do. Bring these guys in. Ooh, they're falling back. Okay, come on guys, follow up, follow up. Don't just let them get away. We want to keep pushing. Attack move if we can, keep things a little bit. Well, attack move is getting a uh, Kind of jacked up because of how uh, many buildings everywhere. I don't want you guys torching the houses when you could be actually fighting the enemy units. Uh, this one lone guy will revive the king. The king is back. The king has returned. Leading his forces. Alright, destroy that tower please. Yeah. Oh, comes crumbling down. What is this? Chamber of Commerce, an H2 economical landmark. Well, burn it. Mm, pull the rams back. More defenders after us. These guys have torches. They don't let them burn the rams. King. This is a charge across the bridge. Archers should be able to clean this up. Be able to finish out those archers. Oh, they have another they have another patrol back there. Gonna want to be careful of that. But once we get these archers finished off. There we go. Clean the archers up on the bridge. Okay. 
This should topple them fairly easily. We could even bring the Rams across. Yeah, get in there. Come on. Ooh, even more, even more. Wow, so many enemies. Okay. Do we have reinforcements again? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay, we'll swing these guys out. Come across, boys. Making sure that we are keeping up with rate of replenishment for our troops. Working pretty well. Honestly, uh, why do I have these rally points so far away? We now rally to the, uh, the foot of the bridge. That's the new rally point. Be able to get us where we need to be a lot sooner. If I can just draw fresh troops from over there. I wonder if I actually destroy these, uh, the barracks and school of cavalry. Yeah, I don't see him building any cavalry. I don't know if these buildings are just for show. There's plenty of times in the campaign here where the enemies just kind of generate units out of thin air, kind of in batches. They're just set to spawn in certain positions. Or they, they pre-start in different areas. Come on. The king is the king is injured. Do not allow him to fall again. But we will knock over all these landmarks. I believe that is part of our win condition. We have to destroy Bayou's buildings. And defeat all of their defenders. Which we still don't know exactly where their their source is. No, there, we destroyed enough buildings to count as eliminating Bayou. Now we just have to wipe out all of the defending batches. I assume that either the enemies are on patrol or they are within different zones. And as we push into the zones, wow, the town center, that is insane range. Being able to fire across the city effectively into our archers. How many more do we have over here? All right. Um, I'm tempted to go and just attack that town center, but my guess is that there's going to be more enemies waiting to guard it, so we're just going to come across here and fight these archers. <laughs> Where do these villagers come from and what are they trying to accomplish? Running across the building. Ah, uh, sometimes the AI is hilarious. Yeah, King Henry, stay in there. You can cut down all those archers. I believe in you. Ooh, we actually stopped producing men at arms. Come on. Oh, we're almost out of gold. This is the last batch of men-at-arms. Now we're out of gold. Yeah, time... The ticking... Ticking time limit on our mission is coming into play because we are running out of resources. So where are their final defenders? Or is this actually the last one? There it is! We have defeated them! Oh, we could have sacked Notre Dame. We could have burned Notre Dame if we had progressed to the city in that direction. Feels like a little bit of a missed opportunity. People fled in terror. King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Today's historical video is mail making. By 1100, the medieval knight was dressed from head to toe in mail. Mail is really like a metal fabric. It moves and behaves like a cloth, but is actually made of hundreds and thousands of interlocking iron rings. It could turn and deflect a sword blade. As an armor, mail didn't work all by itself. It needed the addition of a padded coat The coat absorbed the shock of the blow, whilst the male turned away the cut. Together, they formed an incredibly effective protection. The first stage in making mail was to create wire to the right thickness. To do this, it was pulled through a drawing plate, which had a series of ever smaller holes, until you got wire of the desired gauge. To make the rings, we wind the wire onto a mandrel. And then we take it off the mandrel, 
and cut the rings. So I've flattened the overlapping ends of the ring and I've pierced a hole through it. And now Nick has to put a rivet in it. The basic construction of male would be a ratio of four to one. So each ring goes through four of its fellows. Here you can see I've made a set of five, which will then be joined to other sets of five to create a sheet of mail. Mail had to be tailored to a perfect fit. It had to be shaped for feet and legs, arms and hands, and of course the head. A skilled mail maker could make very precise shapes. Of course, for more complicated parts of the body, like elbows, we can actually tailor it in two different directions at the same time. Yeah, so if we fold this in half, we have an elbow. One of the main benefits of tailoring in mail was that it meant a knight didn't have to carry a single ring of extra weight that he didn't need to. The mail to cover a knight from head to toe required about 200,000 rings. High status knights would have had their mail edged with gold, but most importantly, it had to be functional. Clad in mail with his shield and helmet, the knight was well equipped to face the weapons of the day.